testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of a century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Three Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're gonna get into the uh, pound for pound rankings. Uh, they're out. My my updated top ten pop pound. So we're gonna get into all that. Uh, so um, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Vlogs. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Uh, please also subscribe to our other town, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, uh, we got. I'm just gonna go from one to ten. I'm not gonna do like a fancy little countdown. So what we're gonna do. Okay. Um, Here it is, y'all. Number one. Now in a way. Number two. I, I, I'll let me get into why. All right. So one and two are super close. There's really no difference between one and two. And I know this is going to draw some debate, and, and that's fine. Uh, in a way, it's number one. He jumped up. He dominated Fulton, the best guy at 122. You're going to say that. Spence did, uh, of course, did a, a, as good a job, if not better, probably better than Inouye did. Um, fair enough. It's Crawford's third weight class. It's Inouye's fourth. And guys, there's not a ton that separates these guys. It's very close. Um, it's his fourth weight class, and he skipped the weight class. He skipped 112. He went from 108 to 115 to 118 to 122. So, in essence, he's, he, he's amassed five weight classes. Crawford's only done three. Um, Crawford's been unified, undisputed, undisputed in two. They both unified belts in two weight classes. Um, it, it's close. I give it to Inouye by just a nod. I went back and forth on this because he's gone up four weight classes and skipped one. Right? So if, if Crawford skipped over 154 and went to 160 and beat the best guy in the world at 160, you know, I don't, whoever you, I mean, if, um, yeah, if Crawford skipped over 154 and beat the best guy in the world at 160, I don't even know who we want to call that today. Um, he'd be number one, right? I mean, that's not, that's not a question, but that's what in a way did. And, that's why I just ever so close give it to Inouye. And then Crawford's number two, undisputed, two weight divisions, a three weight division world champ. Uh, he's gathered eight, nine, ten belts. Really impressive. Usyk would be unified in two, should be unified in two, but Tyson Fury too afraid to beat him. Now, I want to say if Usyk does beat Fury, he may go to number one because he would have some incredible path to being undisputed. But until that happens, I can't put him at one so or two because one and two, there's not much that separates them, so I have him at three. Jamel Charlo, unified one belt, but hasn't moved up in any weight classes. He's four. Bavol, the long-reigning champ that beat Canelo at five. Canelo's still undisputed, but lost to Bavol. I don't think there's much of a difference in size, so he's six. Um, he's moved up multiple weight classes. He's gone from 154 to 175, which is why I have him ahead of Devin Haney at seven, who's undisputed. Better beat is getting there, but he's also dropping. Um, that's eight, and then um, so you, you can see, you know, I prioritize undisputed. I, I but I, and, and I prioritize moving up in weight classes because it is a pound for pound list. I'm not going to discredit you for staying at one weight class and dominating that weight class say, like Bernard Hopkins did back in the early 2000s. I'm not going to discredit anyone for that. Um, and then nine and ten, I thought were real close too. I, I, I you know. I, I thought this list was, was pretty obvious. It's in a way, Crawford, Usyk, Charlo, Bavol, Canelo, Haney, Better be of Estrada, uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. He's got the two wins now over Chocolatito. Um, multi-divisional world champion. He hasn't, and, and he ducked Josh Franco, who lost to Ioka. And I wanted to put Ioka on the list. I just ran out of spots because Shakur, and I don't even got Tank or Teal on my list. So this is a tough list to make. 
I got Estrada for, for the longevity, uh, for the run. He's got to crack the top 10. Uh, number 10, I think maybe, you know, the second most skilled guy in the sport behind Terrence Crawford, the best pure boxer in the sport, in my opinion, is Corey Stevenson. But he's got to unify some belts. He's got to beat some more champs. Um, he's got to collect some more belts, you know, to move up that list. Because I, I do think within two to three years, he will be pretty high on that list. Um, but he's got to get a, you know, he's already done a lot. I, 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 I may have to edit this. And, and it's tough though, because Estrada had such an amazing career and Shakur Stevenson, as incredible as he is, he hasn't, he turned pro what, 2016, 2017. So it's been, you know, all right, it's been a few years. Um, he's been pro, I guess, about seven years. Um, he's got 20 fights. I don't love his resume, although I do think Consacia was a good win. But uh, Valdez, Herring, um, you know, I, it's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there. He's got a long time. You know, what is he, just 26 now? Yeah, he's 26, just entering his physical prime. He's got six, seven more years at the top. Easy. So he can move up that list a lot. Uh, you know, when his career is over, it's very likely that he'll be had a lot of these guys. Uh, but but that's the list for now. Um, let me know what you guys think. We will run down it one more time. Uh, number one, in a way, the monster. Number two, Terrence Crawford. Number three, Usyk. Number four, Char Little Charlo. Number five, Babol. Number six, Canelo. Number seven, Haney. Number eight, Better Beef. Number nine, Estrada. And number 10, Shakur Stevenson. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, uh, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It's July 31st, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.